Hello everyone, it's Shamila Ramjawan coming to you from the Red Corner Show in Johannesburg, South Africa. And my guest today is Hina Pegam, who is in New Delhi, India. Hina is a writer, a woman and human rights activist, a global ambassador for My Pink Stilettos, and the founder of Voice of Women. Hello, Hina, how are you? Hello, Shamila, I'm fine, how are you? I'm great, thank you. So the last time we chatted was when we launched the book, My Pink Stilettos. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for having me in a beautiful Red Corner show. It's great to be here with you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for coming on board and chatting to us because you're such an inspiration to the youth out there. And I think you're going to share a lot of inspiration and uh, just, uh, you know, inspire everybody that's watching today. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. So before we get into exactly what you do, how about telling the audience who is Hina? Hina is a girl with different worlds and big thoughts. Hina is someone who's always in there of touching the skies. Hina is a writer, journalist, feminist, global and goodwill ambassador, also a human and woman rights activist. So Hina, a little bit about your background. I know you were not born in India. So do you maybe want to just tell us a little bit about your country of birth and how you actually landed in India? Uh, originally, my father is from Afghanistan and I'm living in India. So I call myself Indian because I live in India. <laughs> so so uh, were you born in uh, Afghanistan? Yeah, yeah, I was born in Afghanistan. And when did you move but to I India? But I was forced to leave my country uh, because of some personal problems. So I was forced to leave Afghanistan and settle in India. So how long are you in India? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when did you get there? Uh, Sorry, Hina, I think we lost connection there. When did you get to India? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, sorry, can you repeat it once again? When did you get to India? Uh, it's almost, um, like, it's many years that I'm living there. Yeah, okay, yeah. and, and you're always in Delhi? Yeah, yeah. That is such a pity because, you know, um, I actually come to India so often um, and I'm always in Delhi, <laughs> always in Delhi and Agra. And, uh, you know, when you talk about Connaught Place and you refer to all these places that you actually go to, it just brings back so many memories. Oh, it is great. Actually, India is my favorite country and India is the most beautiful country and I love it so much. I absolutely love it as well, especially Delhi and Mumbai. You know, it's uh, two different places altogether. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I simply love it. Um, I love the shopping as well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's awesome, here. Yeah. You know, um, you are very into women empowerment. How did that journey begin? Uh, I started my journey in a very young age. And the reason... I started my journey in a very a young age was seeing oppression in my family and my close relatives, Evan. And from that time, something else was in me. I couldn't stand oppression in front of my eyes. And yeah, so that's the reason why I, I started working for women empowerment. And how did you start? Uh, you know, just take me through some of the challenges that you experienced as a young woman. Yeah, I faced a lot of challenges. Uh, first, I started writing for women empowerment in uh, international and national magazines, newspapers, uh, also in social media. And I faced a lot of uh, challenges because I also write for religion. 
And I think a religion is a very difficult, like a lot of people don't like to talk about religion. And for religion, I faced a lot of problems. Okay, because I saw you wrote something, was it yesterday on Facebook? And I said, you need to translate that uh, when we have our chat. Oh, but that was a love. <laughs> it was something about love. <laughs> That's okay, you can share it because we're in the month of love. <laughs> oh, but no, I didn't want to share it. <laughs> Okay, it's fine. I'm sure you will actually write a lot in English um, because that was written in Hindi and <laughs> I couldn't understand the writing. Yeah. That is why I said, but we'll talk. I will, I will tell you in private. Yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> so, you know, what yeah, makes yeah. writing, what is the purpose of writing? Because I, I know you're very involved now with, with, like you said, with magazines and newspapers and all of that. So, you know, a lot of people are interested in your writing as well. But uh, what made you start writing? Uh, were you a writer from an early age when you were in school still? Uh, actually, I can't say I write for women empowerment because I believe women are already empowered. What I want to do is to encourage, uh, encourage women. I want to open a way for caring and new generation and next generations to be able to follow my way, to be able to walk on that path even after me. I love that. I love that. That is amazing. So is that how uh, Voice of Women started? Yeah, is that how. Take me through that journey. What made you just suddenly get up and say, I'm going to start this now. I'm going to register an organization and it's going to be called XYZ. How did, you, did it all begin? Uh, it was, uh, as I already said, it was because of saying oppression in front of my eyes and even in my family or in my close relatives. And it was how the vice of woman journey start. Lovely. And what's the take on it from other women in India? Um, do they actually collaborate with you and uh, sort of support you in whatever you do? Yeah, yeah. A lot of women do support me. It's uh, like I, I have back of a lot of strong, inspiring women. That's wonderful. So um, we're going to move on to the book where we actually both are ambassadors, My Pink Stilettos, which we launched in October last year, and it's on sale on Amazon at the moment. How did that come about? How did you actually become an ambassador for My Pink Stilettos with Dr. Larita Rice Barnes? Yeah. So first, let me uh, let me give you give you not give uh, and uh, everyone some information about my pink stilettos my pink stilettos is movement of 17 strong women from across the global uh, south america north america asia europe and south africa and yeah uh, maybe by reading this book you may laugh you may cry but i'm sure at the end you will learn something something that will give you courage, something that gives you confidence. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, although we're ambassadors, we also are co-authors of the book because we have our little pieces yeah. in there as well, which is great. And yeah, you know, yeah. whoever's watching, if you're interested in getting the book, you can get the Kindle version as well and watch it on any smartphones, any smart device. Um, yeah, and just read our story, 17 women. It's quite amazing. And uh, well done on that. Uh, I read your piece as well. Do you maybe want to share that uh, with the audience? Just a little bit. Don't give them too much because we want them to buy it and read it. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, so can you repeat it? Connection was. Do you just want to share a little bit of what you wrote in the book? So it's about the story of a girl with different words and back thoughts. It's the story of a girl who forced to leave, to leave her country and go to another country. I think that's enough. 
<laughs> we want them yeah. to buy the book because yes, we want to see. Yeah, yeah. I just want to share all this story. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Hina, yeah. how old are you? I'm 21 years old. Amazing, unbelievable. What you've achieved so far in life. I mean, all your awards and accolades and the recognition that you get from throughout the world is phenomenal. Um, I want you to share some of the awards that you've received. What actually stands out for you? Thank you so much. Uh, I'm the recipient of uh, Icons and Crossiders Award. Also, I'm the recipient of um, Red Blazer Award. I'm the recipient of uh, Queen Crown Award. And also, I'm the recipient of Global Change Maker title. And also, I'm the recipient of um, a Global Activist Young Woman. Amazing. Congratulations and well done. And I'm sure that is just the starting point and you're going to get to such a level where you're not going to have enough space to keep these awards. Thank you so much. Yes, absolutely. It's the beginning of the journey. For sure. So something very interesting here for World Cancer Day on the 4th of February, you attended a conference on cancer awareness that was held by the Global Women Premier Click and Yathart University hospital with women entrepreneurs, social activists, doctors, cancer fighters, and the media at the hospital in Greater Noida. Now, I've actually been to Noida, so I know exactly where that is. Um, oh, really? Yes, Amazing. yes. I know Shusti Kaur, who was the Miss Universe India. I went to her home. She invited me. She hosted me. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so you received media coverage uh, and made breaking news in Delhi last week. How did that yeah. happen? How did that happen? Yeah, it was the World Cancer Awareness Day. So we go to visit some cancer fighters. We visit cancer fighters and the conference was about uh, awareness. And yeah, there was the media coverage and a lot of things happened there and it was awesome day. Lovely. Uh you know, just keep up the amazing work that you're doing. Uh, you're just empowering the youth, but you're also making a huge difference in society. Thank you so much for kind of you. You know, you also received an award uh, recently. I think it's about two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the Icons and Crusaders Award. I received it from the uh, government of India. It's a PGP member, I receive it. And yeah, it was an awesome feeling. I can explain it in the words. <laughs> because it's a very big award for me. And yeah, like... Was that a surprise? Yeah, yeah, I was then shocked. I was, it's a, it was a big surprise for me. Yeah, I received this award because of my courage and writing and, and writing religious things and also for feminism. Thanks. So you yeah. are being recognized Feminine by things. people, yes. And uh, was it a nomination process? Yeah. Uh, was it somebody that nominated you for the award? Yeah, yeah. Um, there was a lot of uh, women rights activists nominated. I received the award. Uh, among maybe more than uh, 3, 000, 300 people. Wow. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. You're a real trailblazer. What do you think attributes to your success? Uh, I want to summarize it in only three words. My courage, confidence, and fearlessness. Well, to all you people watching, we have a 21-year-old who is inspiring the world. Thank you, Hina. I, I'm like lost for words because you're just a trailblazer, you're a go-getter, you're unstoppable. And I can Thank see you achieving so much. so much more going forward. Thank and you so how much. You feel? How does it make your family feel? And you're absolutely proud. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. So do you have siblings? 
uh, sorry can you repeat it do you have any brothers and sisters yes yes i have uh, brother and sisters so yeah they are proud of me are they older than you uh, i'm the youngest one in my family okay so you're the baby in the family where do you see yourself in yeah. five years hina sorry can you repeat it where do you see yourself in five years uh, actually uh, i don't know where i will be in five years from now but i'm sure i will be in a different place i'm sure i will touch the skies higher and i'm sure i will do something different in my life i love the positivity that you have there so what do you think is the biggest difference that you can make in the world uh the biggest difference i want to make in the world is i want to change the view of people about different religions the second thing i want to change in the world is the view of people about refugees or being a refugee because sometimes some people say as a refugee i can't do something in my life or some people say you 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 couldn't do something in your life or you can't achieve big things in in your life as a refugee i want to show this kind of people that this is nothing but an excuse for their self because when you have the will and the effort to be succeed nothing can stop you from achieving big things in the life uh, and yeah i believe i'm a human and the world is my home and i want to a role model for every refugee around the world that is such a great message for everyone out there and i'm sure they're going to pick up a lot from that message thank you for that hina so you know i've been watching you on social media and i love your sense of fashion who inspires you uh, i inspire myself i love that i simply <laughs> love that because you want to be different and unique right thank you so much i love being different and unique yes i love it you know when you, when we started chatting and i said hina your hair looks different but that's what we love about people you want to be different yeah yeah i want to be different i want to do different things in my life that's why my journey is a little different from others so what is your message to the world in just one or two sentences yeah uh I want everyone to forget about religion. I want people to forget about caste, about nationality. Let's love each other. Let's respect each other. There is not any difference between Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Sikh or whatever. Let's be kind with each other. Let's love each other. Let's be a human. Absolutely. And always be the be the uh air of touching the skies <laughs> yes yes and yeah. and also be supportive of one another yeah yeah absolutely love it you know thank you so much for chatting to me on the red corner show is there anything else that you'd like to say to anybody out there do you want to thank anybody uh i want to thank uh, dr larita for giving me so much opportunities uh, and yeah i want to thank all of you my thank you still to sisters and yeah uh, thank you for inviting me in your beautiful red corner show it was great to be here with you hina pega thank you so much for chatting to me on the red corner show i wish you everything of the best and i know that you are really going to change a lot in your area that you work in because you're such an inspiration and you're going to make a huge difference in the world at 21 years old and what you've achieved so far there's so much more in store for you and i wish you everything of the best 
God bless you and thank you so much. And we will be chatting again soon. Uh, thank you so much. It's kind of you. God bless you. Take care. Bye.